Hello everyone and welcome to the pits here at the Eskil Studio Motor Stadion on the finals day of the EFRA 18th IC Track uh, European Championships 2016. It's a weird kind of atmosphere down here because for some people the event's over, but some of them are staying to support their drivers, to support their teams, and some of them, their journey's over, some of them are ending early. And we have a few select guys who we'd like to have a word with before the final. Mr. Balestri, Dario, tell us for a quick word with us. <laughs> that's all right, that's fine. We're all, it's all of the lunch break at the moment. First off, we'd like to speak to Dario Balestri. Here's a guy who is so used to success at the top level. How are you feeling about your chances going into the semi-final, given that you were so close on pace in the Super Bowl? Uh, I think uh, the semi-final will be always hard, uh, like all semi-final, because there are a lot of strong drivers, like Robert uh, and uh, others. Also, the track is super big, so it will be hard for the engines and for the tyres. For the um, left side, we will arrive in the end uh, with a super small tire. So we, I think we need, I will try to to go uh, not so fast in the first uh, part of the semi-final for save the tire for the end. Okay, well that's that's really interesting. It's kind of the old maxim of winning a race by going as slowly as possible, saving the tire. So that's how. Uh, is that dictating your strategy in terms of the track length and the the tire wear? Uh, depend uh, how you feel with the car and how which position you are. For sure, if you are in the first or second, uh, you have the possibility to to save the tire. If you need to push in the rear, for sure, it's more hard. We will see. I hope it will be a normal run without problem for all. We only need to arrive in the end. Excellent. That's the only thing a race driver really needs. Get there at the end and get there with the win. Thank you very much, Dario, for speaking to us. Cheers. Thank you. Right, well, we've got someone else over here we want to speak to. Basically focusing a lot on our Super Bowl runs from yesterday. The fastest guy out here. Silvio? I told you it's still a hive of activity. There's people have gone home at this point as well, but there's still a lot here. Silvio Hackler is definitely still here, and he is one of the favourites. Uh, going into the semi-finals to compete. Uh, first off, Silvio, just talk uh, talk us through that Super Bowl session. Just how tense was it? Because it was so close. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I was really maximum nervous five minutes before the start, but then during during the Super Bowl, I was uh, was okay. And then in the last lap, I saw, yeah, I have nothing to lose. Can just win. And uh, the left corner in uh, on the left side, I took full gas. <laughs> And it really worked out, and yeah, in the end, it was just a little bit, which was not enough, and yeah, it was super cool. It was very, very fine margins, that's why we really enjoy Super Bowl. Now, talk to us about today, how do you feel about your chances of becoming European champion? Your teammates with uh, world champion, your countryman, obviously Simon Kersbrook, how do you feel? Have you, you've been cribbing a little bit from his setup a little bit, have you taken some notes from him? Mm, not, not really, yeah, we, we talk about each other, what do you change, what I change. And in the end, we have a very similar setup, but not the same. We don't use the same car. But yeah, I feel confident. My car is very good. And yeah, it's a pretty cool track. Excellent. I mean, I'm enjoying the quiet confidence from a lot of these drivers down here. It's, it's quite nice to see. Silvio Hackler, thanks very much for talking to us. And best of luck today. Right, there's a few other guys I want to see. I think I saw one of the guys. Yes, I did. We've been talking a lot about the Super Bowl, haven't we? So who better to speak to? Then the man who won the Super Bowl. Robin, have you got a chance to? Yes, Robin De Hont, the winner of yesterday's Super Bowl session. Good to speak to you. Tell us how tense that Super Bowl session was, because obviously you went third and you had Dario go after you. How tense was it waiting there for his times to show up? Really tense. I was also really nervous before. When I was driving, the nerves, I, I calmed down. Uh, when I saw Dario driving, I, yeah, I thought he was going to drive a better time, but apparently he didn't. So was a very nice feeling, yeah. Now, you've been, what I've been interesting about is I, I, I saw you at this event last year. You were pretty good. You were there or thereabouts. You seem to have stepped up since then. Have you been doing anything kind of drastically different in terms of setup, or is it just a case of gradual improvement? I have, yeah, maybe a little bit better package now also, and also a lot of people supporting me and uh, giving me tips how to do things. And was, yeah, all events, they have been uh, standing behind me, so... It's all coming together nicely. Just how confident are you of taking home the European Championship here? Um, I still have one place to go, so uh, we'll see you in the final. I don't know. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Best of luck out there. Good to see you in Super Bowl yesterday. That was Robin De Hunt. There's a few others 
I want to speak to. I, of course, want to speak to our TQ, who is Simon Kerr's book, The Reigning World Champion. As I said, it's, it's a strange atmosphere in the pits right now because... Hang on, let's come through here. Strange atmosphere in the pits right now because it's emptying out a little bit. Some people are going home, some people are packing up, their tournament's over. Some people are still supporting drivers, still teammates and things like that. So there's still a lot to get through and a lot to talk about. Uh, as I say, I'm just keeping an eye out for Mr. Kerr's book. Uh, we've got a few moments to go. We have a few people we can speak to over here. Actually, there's one guy I did want to speak to. <laughs> Merlin, time for a quick word, please? Now, I particularly wanted to speak to this guy quickly because I remember last year in Germany, you did a double transfer up into the final and then made the podium. It was quite a shock. You're actually starting in the semis this time. You've made the, the semi-finals. How confident are you of going on and maybe turning that podium into a full victory? Well, uh, I'm not that far that I would talk about uh, making a podium or a victory. It's just about, uh, or we are discussing at the moment, about going over four or five minutes. And this will be hard when the tires get smaller and uh, the fuel consumption comes a little bit higher. This will be a major problem, I think. Uh, so this is, this is actually the, the, the point we are on at the moment. So if anything is more difficult, people have been talking about the track. How has that affected kind of uh, tire wear levels and pit strategy? Well, this track, tire wear, tire wear is not the problem on this track, in my in my opinion. So over 20 minutes, I just saw some some several guys here. For for 20 minutes, it's it's quite okay. You 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 don't or you cannot push like like in five minutes, for example, then you will run out of tire definitely. But uh, it's not that high consumption as on on other tracks. Fuel consumption is, as I said before, a really harsh topic. So it will be all about about the five minutes. So it'd be very tricky, very tricky to gauge going forward. Well, Merlin, we saw you have that great run last year. Hope you have something similar this year. Best of luck in the final. Thanks very much for speaking to us. It's great to speak to Merlin there. As I say, I did enjoy watching his run last year. As I say, I'm keeping an eye out for Mr. Kerr's book, see if we can catch up with him. He's obviously a man in demand from a lot of people. He's generally going to be over here, probably in the Nova Rossi camp, if he is anywhere. Ooh. There's a lot of hustle and bustle out here in the pits, isn't there? There's a lot going on. We'll just spin it around out here. Keep the wind off. I'm acting as a windbreak. It's okay. We'll come round. There's the track out there, as you can see. Pretty pristine condition after yesterday. After all that rain yesterday was causing a lot of problems. Now it's been dry so far today. Touch wood. Touch wood. It stays that way. The weather is looking like it might well cooperate with us. Just going to see if I can have a quick look. There are a few other other guys I want to speak to. But, uh, this is now, we're in the actual pit area. This is where the drivers will be pitting and refueling their cars during the races. So this will be an important area to watch, an important area to study. As the time ticks down. Ten minutes to start. So, oh, we have the Ever officials here. <laughs> this has become a full sort of paddock tour now. This is... This is not just a pit walk anymore. This is a full journey around the paddock here. Oops. <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> a lot of fans in here as well <laughs> for the finals day. A lot of families here. I'm now going to make you do some gymnastics as well, Jan. There's a full trip around. You see the full end of the pit lane. Full pit walk. Back to the pits down here. As I say, I think Mr. Kerr's book is proving a little bit elusive. He is a top world champion there. Indeed, Martin Hoody. There you go. Um, he's proving pretty elusive out here, as you would expect. I mean, world champion, elite status. This is a guy who's always going to be hard to find. Excuse me. So, I'll tell you what, in the interim, see if we can grab a quick word. See if we can grab a quick word in that respect with a guy I definitely wanted to have a word with. Oliver, a time for a quick word. I wanted to speak to you earlier because you we were smiling every time. It was almost like an in-joke whenever you finished every you knockout rounds. You're defending your championship the hard way. How tough has it been so far? Uh, the qualification was not so good. I finished no one, so I have to bump up now. But uh, you know, every every heat is uh, every semi-final or quarter-final is, uh, is a risk. So I enjoy now that I'm in the half, in the half final and then now we see. So. Now we must change the strategy, I think. We now go to five minutes, so... Without five minutes, I, I think we cannot go in the final, so... 
Uh, it's going to be very close on that respect. What's changed from qualifying until now? Because it seems you've got your setup sorted, but in qualifying it just wasn't quite there. No, oh, man, the setup is the same. Okay. Also, uh, I have bad luck. So in the, in the yesterday in the third, I, I crashed. It was yeah. on fault, and in the fourth, I, the engine was too rich and so not finished. So. <laughs> You can't help those things sometimes, you just can't. Yeah. But, uh, well, I'll tell you what, if you make the final and you defend your title, it'll be one of the greatest drives I think I've ever seen in RC racing. We wish you the best of luck. You're one Thank of the you. nice guys of the pit. Thank you. Thanks very much for talking to us. Yeah. Cheers. Right, I think we are just about done. It's Robert Peach there as well. Plenty of stars down here in the lane. And I think we're going to wrap it up just about there. As you can see, the off-road track will be in use next year. Thanks very much for joining us, guys, on this pit walk. We hope you enjoy the rest of today's coverage on RC Racing TV.